So there we go, all the gears coming in from central gear production area where I've got four, now eight of these assemblers instead of just two. So now this whole system should be in full-blown action. Now actually... Um, hmm, can I do this? So I want this one not to work. When this one is being used, I think. Yeah, it's technically the thing I'd like to do. So how to do that? Also, you might want some uh, stack inserters here because these just need a buttload of gears. Yeah, 40. How many do these need? These need 10. These need 5. Stack inserter there. And these are gonna have another one stack inserted because also I think these need a buttload. 20. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay. Oh, and do these? No, do you don't need. There you go, this is kind of running. <laughs> it's not running completely optimal, but it is running. So I am glad it's running. I can do with stuff with circuits, but I need to uh, think about it. So! Today, what are we going to do today? Well, gears apparently are we lacking. So let's actually check on the gear production. What's the matter there? What's the bottleneck? Do we just have not enough production or is something else going on? Actually, also, I'm seeing we're not doing any research, but also I am seeing no more green circuits being created because you are not powered. Right. That has been fixed. Mm, iron shortage. We are not bringing in enough iron. Can we fix that? What happens if we do this? And just split the iron in here again. To two belts. So one full belt is now going in here. That looks like it fixed something. Now the iron here is being shortened, but that shouldn't be a problem. But we actually can do something about it. We still have four lanes down here, which we still need to hook up. Actually, let's uh, start doing that. So we've got four belts coming in, and we've got two of those need to go over here. And that is going to go through here. From here to there. Now this coal here is in the way, so this needs to be moved. <laughs> oh, I like my robots. I so like my robots. This works so good. Ah, you've got some coal on you. Let me just put that into the inventory. <laughs> good. Very good robots. Okay, so we're gonna grab some copper from here. And I guess we're also gonna grab, grab copper from that belt. And then these two are gonna continue up. And being used for these two. Okay. I like that idea. Uh, that copper is gonna drain, which is fine by me. And then also we're gonna put get two iron lanes, which are actually these two. So that is not going to go that well if we do that now. But the iron lanes are going in there. We need to still hook these up, which I guess actually we might do now. Why, why not? Why not uh, hook up two extra iron lines here? Actually, then if I do that, I should actually try and use all this. Hmm. It's going to take a lot of belt, though. Ah, the lights. I need lights. There we go. I don't think I have enough belt on me to do this. Let's uh, start with actually one area. So let's first start with the copper. And then do the iron. Also, we should indeed check on our smelting now that we're here. Oh, I'm already out. Well, I guess we're gonna run back then. I need more belt. Give me belt. And give me not 50. Give me... Uh, 600. I think is enough. There come the robots for the belt! <laughs> there is some belt coming. Give me this. There we go. That's 300. That is actually... Ooh, that's actually the about the amount I want. Let's just get 300, shall we? There we go. Robots, stop it. I have you enough. Enough for now. <laughs> oh, robots. 
How I kind of love you. You're so derpy sometimes. I like it. There we go. Copper is coming in. Now for the iron. There we go. Iron is hooked up as well. Now these are going up here. Now also our smelting should start and run into full production now. Which is kind of interesting. That should really ramp up production. There we go. That's coming in. Apparently we are not completely filling those up. That should be fine though. There we go. That's all iron coming in. And now I do want a crossing here. Oh, apparently there are a few things here going the wrong way around. Also, I think this is five and not four. So I think actually I've got a problem there. So let's actually do that for now. I actually removed something here. What did I remove? A robopart? Did I remove a robopart? I did remove a robopart. Okay. Um, let's put that one back. There we go. And also I think I put up some... A lot of robots. There we go. <laughs> Oops. There we go. So the coal is going on the ground here. Then we're going to have this coming out and going in and going out. Oh. And there goes the lines. Give me more belt. Thank you. How are these belts going? These belts are going fine. Okay, so we need those balanced and we need one line off to there. And this one needs to continue. This line is still draining. I like it. Text takes care of a lot of stuff. And now I want this line removed. This line removed all the way to there. And apparently we are not having a good amount of iron coming in at the moment. Because you can see here we've got only half a belt. Which is fine for now, but eventually we should fix that. There we go. Those robots should be taking care of that. There comes the robots which are going to take care of that. Okay, this is good. This is very good. Now we're going to shuffle them in somewhere. And I'm still thinking about doing that here. Now our main copper drain is over here at, of course, the r green circuits. And our main iron drain at the moment is this gears here. Which is going mostly to the belt section at the moment. So I guess I should do something with that here. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so the copper should, or the iron should be coming up one more, like so. And I think for the others I'm going to do, get this on the ground. And I'm thinking about putting in a four-way balancer here. Now I'm not really sure if you can do that easily going around a corner, but I'm going to try and make one. So we've got two belts coming in. Those will be kind of secondary. But those are going to be split like this then I guess well if we have this one here can we move that that is the for those okay we can have those there that shouldn't really be a problem okay so you are going there which is not quite correct you should be coming here actually you should be split in here so you're going to be split in the top one like so with the top one in the top lane and the other one is going to be shuffled in the bottom one like so and that should be two full belts coming in here one to the top one to the bottom split with the bottom one only they are not splitting in between here which actually this one is now doing so this should be fine it should be more or less a good balancer here. I'm not really sure I did that correctly, but I'm going to keep it because it does look kind of good, <laughs> if you ask me. Now, let's actually copy this section here. Or actually, let's do this a little different. Um, redo that. 
uh, like so. Remove these four. And this is exactly the thing I'd like to put in here. And actually, we're going to put that in there. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's remove then this section over here. And that will fit completely in there. Oh, that looks so nice. <laughs> I like it. Okay, get that to storage. Oh, that's the wrong thing. This is the right thing. There we go. Then we only need a few extra belt there. And then we have more iron coming in as well. Ah, beautiful. Got those lines in. Extra supply lines. Now, I think I'm going to extend this uh, this idea with more supply lines later. But uh, for now, we just need two iron and two copper more. And we have those when we need them. So that's going well. I like it. Now, what are we going to do for the rest of the episode? Now, we've got some stuff, but we also don't have some stuff. For example, we don't have assembly machines at the moment. Or the assembly machines 3, which is something we need speech modules for. Which is something we need a lot of advanced circuits and normal electronic circuits for. Now, these are going to be upgraded to speed modules if, and uh, speed modules 2 and speed modules 3 eventually. Which is going to be interesting. Now talking about that, I'd like to do some research. I don't really mind what kind of research as long as it's going. Uh, but we have some production for that here. We've got some electric miners and we've got the assembly machines going here. So what do we need for these? We need actually just assembly machines too and speed modules. Now speed modules need green and red circuits. Now we've got those on the belt so I'm going to use those from that one belt. And I guess... We are going to produce those, but those are being created one every 15 seconds, and those are created one every half a second, and needs four speed modules. That's a lot of speed modules suddenly we need. Okay, so if we would create a metric crap ton of these, we would also need a metric crap ton of red and green circuits, which I don't have at the moment. I do I do have a lot of red and green circuits, but not in that big amounts. Hmm. Now I'm thinking about maybe creating one of these every two and a half seconds? Or no no no? Yeah, three and a half seconds. So making four speed modules tier ones and putting those for only for the production of these. So we will create one every 15 seconds. Or should I just make uh, a few more? I'm going to uh, make a lot of them. I'm going to just be crazy. So this is going to be gone. And this, I guess, can go into central storage. Hey, no, 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 no robots. I don't want these. Those are way too many. I already have too many. Talking about stuff I have too many of. Those. Um, and actually, these I don't need. And these I don't want. And apparently I've got too many construction bots, maybe? I don't know. Come in me. Hey, why is actually research not going at the moment? Why is it not going? Mm, we are not having any underground belts here because this one doesn't have any iron. Oh, whoops. There we go. Now we should be getting some research. Yeah, that's better. Okay, research is going again. Oh, and this one actually also can go. And I don't want that in my own inventory. There we go. Please do stuff with that. Which I don't want. <laughs> there comes robots. And I guess uh, are we using all of them? No, we have 40 or 94 still available. Nice. Okay. So. Let's continue this a little. Uh, oh, it's a pipe. No! Robots brought it to me. Dang it. Okay, let's do something like this. Let's run that out as far as we can go. How are you doing, robots? I don't have any. Oh, yeah, I do have one. Look at me again. Can we extend our robotic network through here? Ah, uh, yes, we can. 
There we go. Oh. There we go. That's got power. Now robots should be starting to create that. Okay, so we need... Uh, actually, we need this line over here. Might as well use it, if we still need it. Uh, which we do. So we are going to create... Are we going to create all the speed modules here? Or am I only going to create speed modules 1 here? Now, that is an interesting thing. Now, because we need those for speed modules 2 as well. But um, at the moment, I only want them for these. Um, what should I do? Well, first off, I should be creating assembly machine 1 and 2s. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Mm, so we are going to... I guess we can do that over here. We can just start over there because we need kind of the same things. Now, do I want a inserted thing like I did at the other place? I think I do. Uh, which I can do, I think. I think I can do that from here. So this one is going to create one, which is iron, gears and plates. Now we've got iron uh, or the circuits and plates on this side and the gears we can run on the other side also i see the gears are starting to keep up so that's good which means we are starting to fill up completely on production here mm. then here we are going to create the ones which needs more from the same together with these which we have a few of apparently which are going to insert there and these need these okay but first, I wanted to create the speed modules. Hehe, <laughs> oops. Okay, so these are going gone, gonna be gone, and we're gonna create speed modules first. So speed modules, I guess we're going to create them from here. And do something like this. A little bit of my basic setup here. With speed modules 1. Can we do speed modules 2, 3 already? Oh no, I, I thought we could for a second. I thought we shouldn't, because we need uh, alien goo for that, and we don't have that. So here we're gonna grab those, and run, the, run them along here. And these just need these, so these are just going to be inserted with a normal inserter, like this. There we go. Those are going to be outputted onto a belt. We're just going to feed them into here. There's another tree here. <laughs> What's it doing there? I have no clue. One, two, three. Now, I think I'm going to place these a little further apart. At least the last one. Let's grab... That's the wrong signs. This one. We're going to do something like this. Put those into a chest, out to a chest, like we did with the other one. Because we need them. This one is going to be requesting stuff. There's a provider chest. I did those wrong around. The wrong way around. We need them like this. There we go. And these are going to be requesting these. From the system. And these are going to be put into the system. Now I think all, already my robots are on their way. And actually we're going to copy this. Deconstruct this and move this down. Because I want to do the same with the other ones. Oh come on. Get rid of these two. That's the quickest way. There we go. Like this. And these are gonna be the... These. Are you the same? You are the same. You are not going to be the same. You are going to be zero? Actually, can I just right click it? Yes. You're gonna be ones. You're gonna be twos. You're gonna be threes. You're gonna be outputted into a chest. A provider chest like so. Limited to one. There come the assembly machines. It took them a little while. Okay, so that's gonna work. Now these are gonna be outputted here. 
and input it in this. So do I want something on the other side of the belt? Uh, I think I do want circuits on the other side of this belt. Because otherwise I'm going to have a space problem. Now well, let's just do that. I need to get into some combat soon, so I might as well uh, start preparing for that. Okay, let's also do something here. Robots, could you please copy this over for me? Along here. With some red belts. And deconstruct these trees, please. There we go. That should work. Oh my god, the amount of robots. That is a lot of robots. My god, how many do I have these days? I've got 400. These are just 400 robots? These are 400 robots. My god, those are a lot. And I think with this swarm, I'm going to end this for this episode. Robots are doing good work, though. I like it a lot. I need to do some stuff with this hazard concrete because it's at the moment not looking that good. Okay, but this is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed this and... Ah, oh, poor robots. They're all out of power. Oh well, I hope you have a wonderful day everybody. Bye bye. Oh, and even I am getting belt now. Oh, that's nice.